Afternoon and thanks for joining us on this what is the first day of spring, but a rainy day. Of yeah, spring. it's a little bit. I mean, that feels like spring, right? How it's are we, ladies? Out with some rain. We good? Yeah, We're doing good. great. Look at you with your glasses on today, yeah. Miss. <laughs> I can finally see Very the librarian of you. <laughs> It's beautiful, and Isn't their color of their blouse is very yeah, It was first day of spring, so I, I want to wear something bright. Very springy. <laughs> it very is. Very springy, my doll. Um, how are you? What did you do on the I, weekend? Oh, my goodness. I watched the cats win over the, the weekend. What? The UK Wildcats. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I get I it. Beauty but you just knees. threw me for a second. <laughs> yes, well, yeah. it was. I wasn't out watching cats walk the streets or anything. Yeah, I, I was, was like, okay. to. you've got to say the basketball. Okay, okay, the yeah. basketball then team. Then I understand. The UK Wildcats. That's it. <laughs> They won and I they know. beat Wichita State. Um, and, oh. Yes, I did see something on online about that. Of course, I didn't watch it because I don't know how they play or <laughs> I don't really even know the rules. Do you know what oh. I mean? So, <laughs> but I did know that they had won. Yes, they yeah. did. And it's so that's very all you did? Um, well, and I did a little traveling with the boys. We went did. up to Cincinnati. And, nice. Uh, yeah, and so nice. we, just, we went to visit Dad. This one went off to Louisville. I saw Beauty oh, and the Beast, though. It was you? so amazing. Do you really yeah. think it's more yes, it You don't so have kids, good. so obviously, do you feel it's an adult yes. movie? Yes. Well, because I think the adults, there's the nostalgia of it was so popular. Mm -hmm. You know, when I was a little girl, I think I dressed up as Belle for three or four Halloweens in a row. It was yeah. so exciting. So then Emma Watson was such a good Belle. The way it was cast, it was amazing. It was really well done. I wanted to ask you, look, sometimes I feel like I'm so far out of the loop when it comes to, like you were just saying, you know, it was nostalgic because you were watching as a kid. Yeah. In Australia, we didn't, we weren't big into the Disney th um, hmm. feeling films and the love and, and the films because we didn't have a Disneyland or a Disney World. Okay. So, and it's really funny because Australia is one of Disney's biggest um, draw cards when it comes to people leaving Australia to come to Disneyland and Disney So people World. do like Disney then? Yes, but... It, 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 only in the last few years, not okay. when I was at school, because I don't know all these things that you're talking Like Booty and the Beast. Oh, I, haven't, I, I feel like I haven't heard those songs in 15 years, <laughs> and right. I was singing along with the movie. Well, you know? this is a it time amazing. where I really wish that I had a daughter instead of, okay. instead of two boys. I mean, I would love to have them by two boys, but I would love to add a daughter to that just so I could go see yeah. Beauty and the Beast. You can still go, yeah. Lisa. I will. I was just can pretending I go with like you? the little girls <laughs> next to me that I was with them. Things got weird. Oh. No. <laughs> well, I, and I remember my old co-hosts in Utah, they went through the whole Frozen epidemic with yeah. their children. Oh, yeah. I, see, I never saw Frozen. No, and neither did I. And I remember I, I had to, um, Disneyland flew me out to California mm -hmm. and I had to interview Elsa. I had no idea what the movie was about and I didn't yeah. see the movie. Frozen I, is huge. Moana is, huge. is really big too. It girls yeah. on the run. All the girls are singing um, Moana every day when okay. they're running. They love I Moana. Gotcha. And so my son liked Moana. He really did like that. Well, we'll so. all have to get uh, caught up on the Disney. Well, I, do. Yeah. I, I feel we'll like we need to. We'll yeah, we do. Speed. Well, it's funny because they're advertising a Smurfs movie, and I don't think oh, it's I saw Disney. That. Uh -huh. no, and it's I remember all the Smurfs. Okay, I wasn't really into that because it was a Smurf thing in Australia. Okay, got you. Interesting. Hey, I wanted to start spring off with something that now. It's not a brand new story. It is an old video of this homeless man in Spain. Okay. And he was given a complete makeover. And if we could roll the video, it, it shows us the before and afters, and we've sped it up here. Now, this man's been living on the streets for many years, and this hairdressing salon decided to give him a complete makeover. Aww. And when I saw this, I got a little bit teary. And I, I don't know what you girls think, but, you know, I often look at him. He look looks at fantastic. Yeah, he so looks handsome. amazing. Aww. Now, <laughs> look at, oh, like, just, you know. Look at the before and after. It's just gorgeous. Anyway, and look, I often think about this, and I think, you know, I don't know whether how you girls feel about it, but we, we all have homeless people um, in every country, of course. Mm. I don't see, and when I say this, it was very heavy in Utah. There were a lot of homeless people living around where I used to live. I don't see a lot where I live here in Hamburg because you know right. I just live just around the corner from work and I very rarely go downtown as you know mm -hmm. um, but I often think to myself when I pull up at a traffic light and I see a homeless person I think what's your story mm -hmm. how did how you did get yeah. to, yes that, agree? exactly how did you get to where you are and do you think that like yeah I always Absolutely. do I always try to help I I would say 
I always try to help, you know, buy them lunch or give someone food. Yeah. I'm not as quick to give people cash, cash yes. but I'll help. Well, if they're outside the law, of though? a restaurant or something, mm -hmm. I'll, yeah. you know, buy yeah. them a Subway. Yep. Yeah. I've done that before. Yeah. And I think, I don't know, because I know in Utah it was against the law, because I actually said on, a, on our morning show, um, because this lady, um, she spat at me in the car. And I used to see her all the time, and I used to give her money. Mm -hmm. Well, this one particular day, I didn't have any cash. I said, I'm so sorry. And she turned on me oh. and spat on me in the car. Oh, and horrible. I spoke about it on the show. And I actually had a phone call from, and I, from some sort of government agency, I can't remember, saying, you do realise what you're doing is illegal. Like, panhandling is illegal in uh, the state yeah. of Utah. Yeah. I don't know whether it is here or not. Yeah, but um, that scared uh, me. I, from I that think day. like the panhandling, soliciting people is illegal, but giving them money isn't illegal. Right, it's okay. the person mm -hmm. panhandling. Yeah. Well, and I, you know, when I watched the story, and my, you know, my question was, yes, they dressed him up, they got him, you know, all cleaned up. What is what his then? life? Yeah. Well, what then? Where no does it go now? He's, he's no longer homeless. Right. He is out looking for work. Good. And he's kept it up. I'm, I'm the ambassador of a, a brand in Australia called the Ted Knopf's Foundation. Mm -hmm. And he was a priest. And um, Ted Knopf was. Okay. And what we do in, in Australia is we take kids from the streets, give them haircuts, get them all cleaned up, get them new suits, and then help them with a job interview. Mm -hmm, good. Now these are kids, not necessarily bad. Mm -hmm. These are kids that have been thrown out of home. These are kids that may be fallen on hard times. Mm -hmm. And I just, when I see this, I just, I think to myself, you know, I left home at 14, not for any particular reason. I just, I don't know what was in me. I just went off, put myself, finished school, got a nighttime job. I was just that sort of kid. Um, and I think that could have been me. Yeah, you know, I mean, I think it it's wonderful what they did. That's why I love yeah. organizations like Dress for Success. Yeah, they have a great right. branch here right. in Lexington where they help people get back on their feet. It's not just a handout, you know, money. They actually help them. Here are outfits to wear. We'll help you get jobs. We have news. one of them here in Lexington? Right. Yeah. All right, mm -hmm. we're going to get them on the show because I love that sort of thing. Yeah, I love I it. I absolutely love it. Hey, um, moving along, things to brighten up your day. We're having a bit of a nostalgic day today. We've got a bright we want, we want a bright day, yeah. Monday it's, off, let me tell it's you. It's gloomy outside, yeah. it's raining, yeah. and, and it's oh, a oh, Monday. Hold on. Guess what? What? I forgot to tell everyone we drew the chili cook-off. Oh, oh, yeah. oh my gosh. Oh I my gosh. I completely forgot about this. Anita Prowls from Georgetown. Christopher Daniel from Barrera. Barrera? Is Berea. That? Berea, I'm sorry, Barrera. Isn't that dreadful? <laughs> Jan Giddies from Lexington, John Sutherland from Owingsville, and Beth Willinger from Lexington. Do you yep. think that's the correct pronunciation? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be calling you after the show today. We're going to set up some time. Congratulations. Now Yay. we're going to look at your recipes and your pictures, and we're going to go from there. So thank you so much. We really appreciate it. That was the great chili cook-off. Um, lots of entries, but you were the top five that we chose on Friday. Here's my question. Sorry. Do I get to be one of the judges? N <laughs> unless you come to the cooking um, location, no. Oh, well, I'll be there. I'll be there. What time? Okay. You tell me when and I'll be there. Exactly. I love chili. Love hey, um, let's talk about, you know, we were talking before about um, things to brighten up your day. Right. What have you got for me? Okay. Bring it forward, I think. Okay, yes, yes. Okay, if there's one thing, and I think we can all agree on this, yeah. if there's one thing in this world that we need more of is positivity, right? I For mean, sure, I definitely. I mean, really. Yes. <laughs> so, I came across this story, and, um, and it talks about, it's a, it was looking at 12 ways to help spread positivity. Okay. And um, so, what do you guys do, first of all, before we even get into it, what do you do to help spread positive vibes to the people around you or to Bless do you both things. with my company. <laughs> mm. I send people funny memes. I like to do that. Do you? <laughs> Everyone at home thinking, you've got to be kidding me, Troy. <laughs> but it is a joke. Well, I like getting on Facebook a lot, too. I like uh, reading their stories or yeah, liking their pictures fun. and, yeah. you know, of family members, of, of friends yeah. that I've known in the past and whatnot. So, but here are, here are the 12 things that you can do to help okay. spread positivity. Okay. Number one. Leave a few quarters in the communal washing machine. Now, <laughs> do we have a communal washing machine? Not here at work, us? but I'm sure people at um, a, a laundry mat or something like but that. But you know, exactly. Um, back in college, when I was in college, that would have meant everything to me. Money yeah. was so tight. That would have, yeah. I mean, it just would have really brightened my day to see that. Or you can also put quarters in someone's parking meter. I um, know, oh, I've had that done to me once. That was, I, that was a nice thing. It That's was, nice. it yeah. was. And it's just little things like this that you can help spread um, goodwill. Um, also, bring your pup to work. 
Our news director did that today. <laughs> Can you see my face? And it was <laughs> I do not believe animals should be in the workplace. Oh, no. We have a few people can, around here. They can be animals. so calming. As long as they're not vicious dogs, I don't see well, any Well, I walked why. into our news director's office and the dog started barking. Oh. I said, I'll see you when you get rid of the dog. It senses evil. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and the next one, number four, go on social media like on a liking spree, okay. just like what I did. Yeah, or but what's the point of liking it if you don't really like no, it? No, but I really like it. Oh, I okay. don't. I don't just throw yeah, them out there. Too. Just, but also it it talks about giving compliments out in real life too. So not only being on your social media, you know, on Facebook and Instagram, but actually doing it in real life too, yeah. giving true compliments. Okay. Um, and then let someone cut in front of you in traffic. No, I do that all the time. <laughs> yeah, I do that all the time. I'm a bad too. driver. Yeah, anyway. I'm a slow <laughs> driver right away. I'm like, go ahead. I'm go not ahead. so good at that. I need to work on that one. Yeah. Um, surprise your coworkers with tasty treats. That's nice. Rhonda. Now, um, we're not going to get to all 12 of these, are we? <laughs> yes, absolutely. Are we are? Okay. Okay, do chores for your roommate. Leave okay. your leave your favorite barista an extra tip mm -hmm. right. um, or you know your waiter waitress um, and then also lend an ear to someone who looks like they're having a bad day but most importantly smile oh that's a good smile. one smile <laughs> you know what I find really funny and it's something that a lot of people say that when they go to Australia they think everyone's so friendly and warm and I've, I've never thought Australians <laughs> were friendly <laughs> I they were only with my time around you <laughs> Are you saying I'm not friendly? But what I find here... I'm just saying here, you ruin it for everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> but what I find here is when you walk into stores and, you know, we, what I hear in my ear is a very strong accent saying, Hello, sir. How's your day today? Have a good day. And yeah. I'm like, what? You don't even know me. I love that. <laughs> yeah, I know. And that's what I'm saying. I don't think it's a bad thing, but I'd rather... S it doesn't sound sincere. I think it is sincere, I though. think it Do is, too. Think? Yeah, I find it sincere. Yep. Oh. See, it's me. <laughs> yeah. It's totally me. Or, or something that the girls used to always say at the table. And I used to say to them in, in back at the other show that I was doing, they'd always say, you look so pretty today. I'm like, do they really mean that? <laughs> oh, it's like in Mean Girls, you know how yeah. she points oh, out her yeah. necklace. I love your necklace. Mm -hmm. yeah, I don't like exactly. You know, you're pointing out something that you don't yeah, like so to draw attention when to. When I <laughs> give a compliment, you know I mean it. So when because you just I look us up and down around. before the show and oh. don't say anything, what does that mean? It means something's wrong. Go have a look at yourself in the mirror. Oh, wow. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Um, but I often, I will never say anything that I don't mean. Never. And I think giving compliments is a true test to someone mm -hmm. and how they believe you are or wh how they feel about you and I think but it's But don't you think you can always find something nice to say to you someone? You can. You, you might can. not that's genuinely want to just like. yeah. say it but if I know you're feeling down or Lisa's feeling down yeah, I can think nice of something me, nice yeah. but I genuinely mean it but I'm thinking of something And to you say. have no idea what the the day was like for the person that you're getting ready to give a compliment to. I mean you could totally change their yeah. day. They could be coming from a really bad place and, and you know just something so simple can brighten their day. I so sound really mean now and I don't want it to sound that way. Maybe we'll, we'll change you. We'll quarters on the on. If you put some quarters <laughs> on the vending machine you'll be forgiven. Can I just say someone <laughs> paid for my coffee once at the drive through okay. at Starbucks so I thought I'd pay it forward. Okay. Now I normally have a short flat white which is about four dollars mm -hmm. so I said to the woman at counter I said Said, oh, I'm just going to pay for the car behind me, thirty-nine dollars. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm so, I'm not a nice person. You know, I went and ripped that food right out of their hands. I'm joking, I didn't do that. But it was like thirty-nine dollars. I was oh not no. impressed. Hey, 